Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Last week I drew a lemon. Let's paint a lime this week. Today we need watercolor paper, watercolors, water and a brush. When you draw something that is round, you can draw the different values by hatching and cross-hatching. The different layers build up to different values and gradations. See, the top part is lit, so it has lighter values and less hatching. The bottom part is not directly in the light, so it's darker. And of course, this is not a balloon, but an object that sits on a surface, so all we need to do for that is add the cast shadow. When you use watercolors, you can create the same effect, the sense of roundness to an object. First, mix your paint into the color that you desire. For that lighter bit, dilute the paint with water and apply it onto the paper. To make a smooth transition into the darker area at the bottom, do not rinse your brush and pick up some more paint with it. Then, again without rinsing and by picking up more paint on your brush for the darkest area at the bottom, you've created three gradations of green. It may seem like there's sharp edges between the three gradations, but the beauty of combining wet watercolors is that they will dry smoothly. So you don't need to do anything to make that happen. It's like magic! I'm adding one more layer at the bottom to make it a little bit heavier. Now let's add some contrast and create a cast shadow with the complementary color of the subject. Because my subject is green, I mix reds, its opposite color, and add a little bit of green too and apply it below the subject. Watch out, when the paint is still wet, the colors will bleed into each other, so it's best to wait until it has dried. Why don't you try your watercolors today? Mix up some bright and cheerful colors and make awesome art. Would you like to learn more? Go to my website and join one of my classes today.